on the other eye first, um, just to make sure if it's bilateral or if it's uh, uh, only the left eye. So you always just kind of bend it at the little join there. And then we'll just do the right eye too. And close and hold the eye. So we're just going to see what the, compare the left and the right eye, because um, it may be both of them are having low tear production, and by the looks of it, it is. So we still do Schirmer. This is the Schirmer on the on the right eye right yeah. now. So we're just checking to make sure, to okay, is it both one eye or one, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just checking to see, okay, is it both eyes or just the one eye that's affected by whatever's going on with him. Um, and it's looking like it's the, the right eye is already, I can see it coming up, the little piece of paper there, quite well, much better than the other one. So we'll see where it ends up after the one minute mark. But you leave it in minimum of one minute. One minute is what you want, so uh, to get a good reading. And this one is looking okay, but it's got blood on it too. So you gotta wonder what the heck's going on with this little bump, little guy's eyes. Okay. And this guy, so he's got a test of about uh, 12 on the right eye. Okay, so you can see the line there, and it's got some blood in it too. So now we're going to do the fluorescein stain, whatever I did with it, there it is. So the fluorescein stain, um, we use it for what? Uh, we check in for ulcers. Uh, this is the dye that goes in the eye, um, and we check the actual uh, cornea uh, for ulcers. What is this solution? This is just um, saline for the eyes, extraocular eye stream. And I just put a drop in, and a drop in this eye. You don't, it doesn't take much. And then what we do... So you just touch the eye? Yep, just with a little bit of little stain, yep. And then you'll see the yellow, yellow there, you can actually see it. And then I'm just going to rinse it out a little bit so that we can see. And then, can you pass me the blue light? No, I wonder if you So then... Le, get the blue light. And the reason for the blue light is that if there's any stain uptake, it would actually shine a bright green on the actual cornea, and I'm not, we're not seeing any. Okay, this eye is good. That eye is good. This eye should be good, considering he hasn't been bothered by this one, but we'll see. Sometimes it's harder to do this when they're asleep, but you would actually see stain uptake. So don't, not. There's the third eyelid gland right there. So that looks okay. So he's got low tear production um, in the left eye. The right eye is not fantastic. But it has more than what the left eye yeah, is. And no ulcers in both of them. No ulcers in both of them. Okay. So, um, more than likely, uh, what the doctor will do is treat for um, dry eye, and um, and hopefully that will actually uh, bring the tear production back up, and so that um, so that he not scratching and rubbing at it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Lena, from Wondermere Vet Hospital in Edmonton. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>